And our correspondent Paul Aslia uh, remains right along the Syrian-Iraqi border, closely watching Peshmerga forces trying to defend themselves against Islamic State. She did have a chance, one open window, to send us this report. Night has fallen over the Iraqi-Syrian border and the Kurdish fighters are taking up a position. Night is when ISIS, under the cover of darkness, moves around. So this is when it's the most dangerous and when they need to prepare their tanks to take fire. These American and British fighter planes have been circling overhead for the last two hours. We've heard airstrikes going off in mostly that direction, which is where the ISIS fighters are right now. There has also been gunshots, and all of this is happening while I'm watching reinforcements. The Peshmerga reinforcements arrive here at this lookout position. Now, I'm with a number of fighters. We're behind a sandbag. So we're waiting to see if the situation gets any more dramatic. And just behind me is the tank ready to fire. About 30 minutes ago from the south of Rabia, ISIS tried to stage an attack, but it was very weak and we were able to defeat them immediately. The airstrikes help immensely. We can fight, but with the airstrikes, we're guaranteed 100% success. They provide us with cover. We help give intel to the airspace operation control rooms. We have informants and we have spotters who send the information to them. Whenever we see ISIS making an advance, we take our positions and then call the Air Force to inform them. After that, we start firing our artillery and the airstrikes begin. In the last three nights, we heavily defeated ISIS. So tonight, what they're just trying to do is say that they're not completely defeated. <laughs> They are not real human beings. They are cruel animals. They kill women and children mercilessly. Thank God they haven't been able to capture any of our fighters. We never sleep. We are always vigilant. This is not a domestic or even regional threat. It's a global threat. I'm here fighting to eliminate terrorism for everyone around the world. It didn't used to be as calm as it is now. We've been fired at with rockets, mortars and tanks, but we've taken advantage of the airstrikes. When the planes fly overhead, the militants can't move freely. If the airstrikes continue to help us, we can finish this war in the next three months. Well, this is where we're bedding down for the night. If anything happens, we'll be ready at a moment's notice. Paul Islia, RT, on the front line, northern Iraq. Now, unfortunately, the night was not a peaceful one for Paula. She describes how she was awoken by gunfire in the midst of battles between the Peshmerga and Islamic State, with the crew trying to film the attack. If you want to find out the very latest and what it's like to be on the front line, all you have to do is click on Paula's Twitter page.